thousands of Native American and other artifacts collected over eight decades from all over the world are being removed from a central Indiana home by the FBI tonight. Good evening. I'm Julia Moffat in for Ann Marie. And I'm Scott Swan in tonight for John Stair. We had Chopper 13 HD flying over the home in Rush County of Donald Miller today. The house and other buildings on Miller's property are covered by tarps as agents remove the delicate artifacts. Tonight, the FBI says some of those items may have been acquired illegally, but the owner is not currently facing any charges. The owner of that home near Waldron is well known in the community. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Brilliant spoke to a man who spent a lot of time in that house. And Julia, the truth is a lot of people spent a lot of time in that house. Donald Miller shared his collection with the community, allowing school groups and scout troops in to take a look. Waldron is a classic, quiet, one-stop light Indiana town. We had no idea what it was going on. Not the kind of place you'd expect to see this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was really surprised. Dozens of FBI agents, special military-style tents, specialized equipment, and a command post that would put some small-town police stations to shame. The focus of their investigation, 91-year-old Donald Miller, seen here in a 2007 picture from the Rushville Republican, and his massive collection of Native American and other artifacts. It's pretty neat stuff. <laughs> I was really interested in looking at all of it. Joe Runnebaum saw the collection while working on the plumbing at Miller's house. He said Miller was proud to show it off. I had a head with a uh, had a arrowhead stuck in it, just a skull, you know, and just and all kinds of Indian artifacts, arrowheads, to hatches, to peace pipes, to just to anything. Outside near the front door, we saw statues that appear to be from the Far East. The FBI has around 100 agents here, and they say it could take them up to a week to figure out what all the artifacts are. And they've brought in a team of outside experts, archaeologists and anthropologists to help. Then there is the collector himself. And he has been very cooperative at this point, and I think the uh, goal here again is to, to identify those items, see uh, if, if they belong in, in elsewhere, and we're going to work closely with him to make that happen. The collection that took 80 years to put together will be dismantled piece by piece. Did he say why he collected stuff like this? I, I guess they never had a family. I guess just something him and his wife could do together. And we're told that Mr. Mr. Miller's wife passed away several years ago. So why now? Why did the FBI decide to converge on this house in the past 24 hours? The truth to that is we're not 100% sure why. We do know, though, that this investigation, Scott, has been going on for about three months or more. Scott? It's a fascinating story. I know that it'll be getting a lot of coverage. Uh, we'll continue to follow it, Jeremy. Thanks. Now, as Jeremy mentioned tonight, Donald Miller is well known in Rush County, also played a part in a significant event in our country's history. Miller was an Army reservist during World War II, and he was chosen to be a part of the team that developed the atomic bomb. He worked side by side with Dr. Robert Oppenheimer in Los Alamos, New Mexico. The Rushville Republican did a series of articles on Miller's part in that historic event in 2007, and we've got the links to those articles for you. You can read them on WTHR.com. All right, Scott.